Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. If you truly love this interview, man, I know the places. Our major is spinning. Come to a two boxes, man, and good to check it. This is 13. And don't run, neutral guy. This level, if I remember correctly, has some more challenging enemies as well. And also surface birds. So, those are pretty new. Oh, make. Activate that. Jump on the bird. And bounce. Forever. This bouncing takes for ages. And belly flop onto the ground. Because that's the way. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. could do it. I think. Yeah. That's the one. Ooh. We're gonna get some. Uh, bonus activity from here. Oh, uh, this is a shame. I don't remember which option was the better one for first time exploration. And I'm gonna pick this one and then try to go back the other way. But I'm uncertain if that will actually work. It's going to be tried. Maybe I should have chosen the other path anyway. Unless there were actually no boxes in this direction. Surely there. Ow. Well, there were turtles. Or. A type. Well, there's this here. That's rather important. Let's get the checkpoint, sure. And then jump in a hole, sure. Because, as you may have noticed, I wasn't observing where I was going. Oh, that's the most boring yet death animation in the game. That was so much more interesting. Because there's a lot of ways to die in the game. There is! Exploding, crashing a, a polar bear into a thingy. A chingy. Hmm. I shouldn't have jumped in the hole. If I hadn't jumped in the hole, I would be stuck in this current mess of not being able to tell when it's safe to move. Take that. It's not going to change much. That's an offer that I have made now. Okay, let's go get those two boxes I missed last time. I did this path. Oh, these enemies don't respawn, so there's that. Apparently... Wait, were there enemies in that direction before? Sure there were. Sure there were. I know I did kill that one, so... Now I can understand that. I'm getting a couple of the lives back to the lost. And since this animal will... Well, this episode will include animal cruelty. Some serious animal cruelty, I'm not kidding you. Oh! You'll see soon enough. Just after I finish the boss. There will be some serious animal cruelty. Some very serious animal cruelty indeed. Well, this takes bouncing to an extreme TV. The bubble boxes can only be destroyed by the merry activity of mucking with them. Ow! No! I can still take the bonus turn, right? Yeah. Fuck you, box. The purple boxes can only be destroyed by belly flapping in them. Belly flapping. Okay. I don't remember exactly how this worked the best.
Come on. Get this. Go back. Oh yeah, that's how it was. Good. Now we land on that box. Get out of here. Because we've done it perfectly. Excellent. The satisfaction in doing things right the right the first time. Come on. That wasn't the first time though. This is very much not the first time. <laughs> oh. Okay. Did we get the gem? We get the gem. We did get the crystal. So it should all be absolutely perfecto. And a job well done. I sip some tea as long as I got my crystal and my gem and a cutscene from Cortex. A cutscene of sorts anyway. And moves! Listen up! We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room. They can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Oh, thanks, sir. Up we go. Ah, time to fight this guy. He was extremely annoying in Crash Bash. And he was also the first boss in, uh, I think, uh, Crash Bandicoot, the first one? And uh, if I also remember correctly, he appeared in Crash Team Racing, where he was absolutely awesome. There we go, first life done. This should be the save point, I think. Yeah, it is. But I don't remember where the next one is. Is it here? It should be there. Wait. You know, this one was... more difficult to believe. Was this the save point? Yeah. It's nice that it's always near a wall. Fuck that shit. Yeah. This is very nice, but hey, job done. Victory. Chicka chicka move move. And now he's still facing us from doing it. Yay. Floor 2. Floor 2, you mean. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. 20 to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the air. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Crash, I can't keep the data pack open for Crash, you need to find... I need to find cookies? That's fine. Hello. I'm gonna bounce on your head. You're gonna like it too. You are. You are. Oh, it took a lot less jumps than I remembered. It might be because I actually knew what I was doing this time. Yeah. And let's go ride him. Check this out. 
<laughs> that's just that facial expression is just priceless. Get every box. As always. Come on. I don't remember if I needed to do the, the special long range jump thing in this. Anyway, I'm gonna die because I missed the box. That is unacceptable! The last animal cruise must pay off eventually, you know? You gonna do the same facial expression again? Good. So that's hilarious. Yeah. Come on then. That. I remember the, the dice field with those four boxes was always nightmarish. Come on. There was two boxes I missed. We cannot have these boxes lost like this. It's unacceptable. Oh god, I just remembered there's a night level with riding the bowler there. Yeah. That's a bit a fair bit more challenging than whatever we're doing now. Oh fine. I'm gonna come back for these. Well, actually I could have skipped that one as well because you know, not getting all the boxes anyway. So we did that this time. Alright. Move on, get the crystal, get stuff, stuff, stuff. Explode everything, get that. Do the turbo thing. Because it's the turbo thing. It's so turbo like. Because it's the turbo thing. That actually seems to have given me some sort of momentum which isn't going to be. Entirely to my tastes, I think. Eee, I almost skipped over the box. So it's a good thing we're not getting every box this time anyway. Oh! And I was dismounted. No. Unacceptable! I missed five boxes! Five! Five! No! This doesn't usually happen to me, I don't know what's the cause of this. <sighs> and I'm gonna go get back in there and get the gem as well. Did I do it? No. So it had enough times to actually have a checkpoint just before the place, so that's nice. No! Almost! But this means I can't grind lives anymore. Fuck. Come on, no! Yes! Finally! I'm gonna get that life? Yes! Looks all good now. Just need to f finish the level. Oh fuck. Did I sh show you this animation before? I think I did. Or this one. But there we go! Level complete, got my gem, got my stuff. Well, now I got the gem anyway. Yeehaw! Very much excellent. Though I did spend like a dozen lives. Oh well. Guess I was able to bear it eventually. I'm terrible. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Crash Bandicoot 2. We can have a triple look by now though. So there is that. Ha 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 ha!